Breaking news out of the NBA, they have suspended Phoenix Suns and Mercury owner Robert Sarver for one year and fined him $10 million for engaging in what the league called, quote, workplace misconduct. Now, the punishment stemmed from a long investigation into allegations of sexual misconduct and racism that came to light in an ESPN report from last November. Sarver, who has owned the Sun since 2004, will have to complete a training program focused on respect and appropriate conduct while serving his suspension. As you take a look at three of the key findings that were mentioned in the NBA's press release that Sarver used the N-word on at least five different occasions. He made sex-related comments, inappropriate comments about women in the workplace and engaged in inappropriate physical conduct towards male employees, also engaged in demeaning and harsh treatment of employees including cursing and yelling at them. Can you believe it? We are still on the N-word. In 2022, we are still on the sacred word that only black folks that have anger, hatred, and resentment are allowed to use. The same word that literally gets black folks racially charged and emotionally discombobulated to the point where it busts them down to their knees. Don't we have freedom of speech in this country? If you haven't been keeping up with this story, um, as you can see, Queen James has now joined the fray of outrage over the, the punishment, over the verdict of how they're going to go about uh, dealing with the, the owner of the Phoenix Suns, uh, Robert Sarver, the owner of the Phoenix Mercury, uh, the women's basketball for WNBA. If you haven't been keeping up with the story, I'm going to get you up to date real quick, give you a quick synopsis. Um, long story short, let me make sure I got LeBron James among those who felt Suns owner Robert Sarver got off easy. Uh, the NBA suspended Sarver for a year and fined him $10 million after an investigation. Now, let me stop there. They didn't put it in the article. But this is an 18-year investigation. It almost reminds me of the John Gruden investigation where they went into 10-year-old emails. But this was an 18-year investigation of collective uh, information. Um, so let me go back. He was fined $10 million after an investigation revealed that Sarver allegedly repeated. He was repeating statements made by others, said the N-word at least five different occasions. He's not using the N-word in a derogatory way. He's not doing it in ill intent, with malicious intent. He's literally repeating what his probably his players or one of his staff members had used and said, since they use it five times in just one sentence. He repeated, he was recounting what someone else said. It reminds me of the Joe Rogan situation. Yeah, 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 you remember they tried to cancel Joe Rogan, right? Yeah, all he was doing was repeating what someone else, telling a story of what someone else has said. And somehow, all of a sudden, now that this is an issue of you recounting what someone else said. But what's funny to me, and I'm going to get into it with LeBron James' selective outrage and how he advocated for the Democratic Party, the cabal, the, the Marxist socialist uh, regime that's in, the, uh, uh, in our office now at the White House. He, he advocated for them, but he'll turn a blind eye of when Joe Biden recounted, when Joe Biden repeated the N-word over 13 different times uh, uh, during the Senate. But nobody wants to talk about that. But they'll run around and say, that, oh, it's racist and someone should be canceled. But we're going to get into old Queen James. I'm not done with him. Um, yeah, the 60-year-old son's owner was also found to have made inappropriate comments about women and their physical appearance uh, that were uh, sex-related. Now, I can't speak truth to power when it comes to um, things that he may have done or said when it comes to women. You know, he owns a women's basketball team. When you work around women and you deal with women, you do have to operate. You do have to conduct yourself in a professional manner. You know, there, there, there's things that you just can't say. Now, I don't know if this was private conversations of someone um, maybe secretly recorded them or, or documented private conversations of things that he said. We don't even have to get into that because we all know as the fellas, if you ever play any sports or did any type of locker room talk, then you know how we talk. You know the things that we say. Am I making an excuse for him saying that? No. Uh, I'm, I, in no way I think that it's appropriate to, to uh, do things that are, are unprofessional when you're around females. You understand what I'm saying? Although, to the contrary, we do know what locker room talk is. And from my understanding, I think that these were more private conversations. So I'll digress on that. LeBron James, as usual, goes to his social justice um, activism. 
And we all know that he's about as dumb as a box of rocks. But this is a tweet that he put out with his outrage about the situation. Read through the Sarver stories a few times now. I got to be honest. Our league definitely got this wrong. I don't need to explain why. Y'all read the stories and decide, decide for yourself. I said it before and I'm going to say it again. There is no place in the league for that, for that kind of behavior. I love the league. Uh, I love this league and I deeply respect our leadership. Um, but this isn't right. There is no place for misogyny, sexism, and racism in any workplace. Don't matter if you own the team or play for the team. Oh, we hold our league up as an example of our values, and this ain't it. Okay, LeBron James, just going off your quote, it doesn't matter if you own the team or you play for the team. Well, I know that NBA players, they use the word five times in just one sentence. And you guys force everybody in the locker rooms, I'm sure, to listen to your destructive culture, suicidal poetry on the good beat hip-hop rap music that has it every single bar, almost like it's delusionally on repeat. So why aren't the players being held accountable? I've heard you say it several times on podcasts. You use the word yourself. So my thing is, I don't have a problem with the punishment, the, the verdict of what they came up with uh, uh, for, for the owner. Uh, um, they, what they suspended them for a year and they fined them $10 million. If this is the standard, if this is what you're saying, Queen James, then the players should be held at the same standard. See, I don't have a problem with, with their punishment as long as the players are held at the same standard. And we know that y'all, black folks, use the N-word. How many times has this owners, players, employees, other coaches used the N-word? Are they going to be held at the same standard? Are they going to be suspended for a year? Are they going to be fined for $10 million? You see what I'm trying to say? This whole thing about, oh, it's racist and only certain people can use it, it's, it's just out of hand, and this just is ridiculous. This is just ridiculous. Uh, LeBron James, my thing is, where's your accountability? Yeah, you, you have tweeted out and put a target on a law enforcement's back. Yeah, you remember that and then deleted it. Hurried up and deleted because you got backlash. Where was your accountability for pushing that? When the man was actually saving another black person's soul. <laughs> Where's your accountability? Where's your punishment for the, the BS that you push in this country? The divisiveness that you put is, push in this country? You tell the public, you go on record and tell the public on national TV that black people are scared to come out of the house and scared of police when that is furthest from the truth. What about you pushing the race hoax? Didn't you just get done pushing the Rachel Richardson Smollett race hoax? Now that the data has come out, the investigation comes out and confirms that it didn't even happen. It doesn't even align with the girl's story that she lied. Where is your accountability? This is why I have a deep disdain for people like LeBron James. And he needs to keep his mouth shut. And where is his accountability? If you're new to the channel, make sure you hit the subscribe and notification bell so that you can get notified when I put out a new video. And everybody else that's been supporting me, make sure you like, comment, and share. It's your boy, Craig Long 45 You can't make this shit up. I'm out. Peace. Yeah, oi. <laughs>